The Ford Everest is a mid-size SUV produced by Ford Motor Company since 2003. Developed and destined mainly for the Asia-Pacific region with production centered in Thailand, the first-generation Everest is based on the Mazda-based Ford Ranger pickup truck, while the following generations is based on the globally marketed T6 Ranger. Unlike the Ranger which was paralleled with the Mazda B-Series or BT-50 until 2020, the Everest has no Mazda equivalent, as it was seen as unfitting for the brand, 1. It has 5 or 7 seat variants. It is known as the Ford Endeavor in the Indian market to avoid legal issues due to the existence of a spice-making brand with the same name in the country. 2. Ford unveiled the first-generation Everest in March 2003 at the 24th Bangkok International Motor Show. 3. Designed especially for Asian markets, the Everest shares 60% of the Ranger's components including its 2.5-liter intercooled turbo-diesel engine and the exterior styling from the front to the B-pillars, for, it was revealed that the development of the car took four years and costs 100 million US dollar including investments needed to manufacture the Everest, 5. As it is based on the Ranger, it retained the double wishbone independent front suspension and leaf spring rear suspension from the Ranger, while also engineered into making the level of ride comfort and handling of a standard that is better than the Ranger. The Everest was sold in Southeast Asia, India, Middle East, 6, Central America, the Bahamas and several African countries. It was built at the Auto Alliance Thailand plant in Rayong, 7, and as CKD kits in Chengolpattu, India and Hai Duong, Vietnam, 8, 9, in India, the vehicle was introduced as the Endeavour in 2003, 10. Facelift In November 2006, the Everest underwent a major facelift that saw the whole front and side body panels replaced to match the redesign of its base vehicle, the Ranger. Changes also included an updated front fascia, new transmission and an improved engine, 11, 12, 13, in addition, the redesign featured the new 5-speed automatic transmission with Borg Warner transfer case, and an active shift on the fly function, 4x4 only, for the first time. Despite the massive changes, it retained most mechanical parts along with its U268 project code. However, the 2007 to 2015 model is sometimes referred to as the second generation Everest by Ford or journalists. A second facelift was introduced in 2009, 14, while the changes were less prominent than the previous facelift, Everest now sports a rounder fascia than its predecessor and was similar with the facelift Ranger, 15, 16, the changes were achieved by changing the front fender assembly, front hood, front headlights, front grille and front bumper, 17, while it also featured larger 18-inch polished alloy wheels, a redesigned tailgate and new tail lamps, 18, 19. Another smaller update was introduced in 2012, now sporting a revised front grille, 20. In 2013, the Everest received a final facelift, featuring a redesigned front bumper in line with some other global Ford cars, 21, 22. The second-generation Everest was unveiled as a near-production concept vehicle in March 2014, 27, and as a production version November 2014 ahead of its public debut at the Guangzhou International Motor Show, 28, based on the T6 Ranger, the vehicle was developed by Ford Australia under the U375 development code, and known as the UA series in Australia, 29, 30, in China, the Ford Everest is manufactured by the JMC Ford Joint Venture, at JMC's Nanchang Factory, 31. It features a complete redesign which featured rounder proportions for a more modern appearance. Dimension-wise, the 2015 Ford Everest is shorter in length but wider and taller, altering its proportions compared to its predecessor. 32. The wheelbase has been reduced from 2,860 mm, 112.6 in, to 2,850 mm, 112.2 in. The second-generation Everest is used as a basis for a light-duty tactical vehicle for the French military, called the Arquis Trapper VT4, 33, 
34. Production and sales of the Endeavour in India ended in 2021 due to the closure of all Ford manufacturing plants in the country. 35. Attempts to continue its production in the country through a contractual basis had fallen through. 36. Facelift. This model received a facelift in May 2018, coinciding with the Ranger facelift. 37. The facelift included design tweaks, equipment list update, new 2.0-liter biturbo diesel engine and 10-speed automatic gearbox. 38. Other changes include autonomous emergency braking, a standard kick-activated power liftgate, and new alloy wheels. Interior changes include more soft-touch materials such as ebony dark color scheme. Another facelift was released for the 2021-year model in November 2020 in Thailand, the third-generation Everest was revealed on 1 March 2022, 39, 40, it was developed under the U704 development code, and known as the UB series in Australia, 41, sharing most of the front-end components with the P703 Ranger. Overall dimensions of the third-generation Everest remain mostly the same, with an additional 50mm, 2.0 in, in wheel track and wheelbase. The changes was done to achieve a longer dash-to-axle ratio to accommodate the optional V6 engine and a slighter wider wheel track, 42. The T6 platform continues to underpin the Everest with upgrades, such as longer control arms for the independent front suspension and what's link rear suspension to suit the wider wheel track. All Everest models in this generation is equipped with underbody protection, a rear locking differential, selectable off-road drive modes, and two functional tow hooks at the front. The vehicle also offers 800mm of weighting depth, 40. The four-wheel drive model will be available with the option of 3.0-liter turbo diesel V6 and 3,500 kg 7,716 pounds towing capacity. To accommodate the increased towing capacity, Ford worked on the engine cooling package, stiffened the frame and increased the front and rear axle load capacities, 42. Instead of using a more conventional center differential with a limited slip or locking function for off-road driving, the Everest uses an electromechanical clutch pack that would connect and disconnect the front and rear wheels. It allows the Everest to operate in rear-wheel drive on high traction surfaces and move the front wheels if needed. The clutch pack can engage completely in off-road situations, 42. In January 2023, Ford released the Everest Wildtrak V6 in Thailand and New Zealand, 43. The Wildtrak V6 is differentiated from other models in the range by adopting the same styling treatment as the Ranger Wildtrak, such as the front bumper with darker accents, black wheel arch flares and window trim, and Wildtrak badging. Positioned between the mid-trim sport and the luxury-positioned platinum model, the Wildtrak model is solely powered by the 3.0-liter turbo-diesel V6 engine, 44. The Ford Explorer is a range of SUVs manufactured by Ford Motor Company since the 1991 model year. As the first four-door SUV produced by Ford, the Explorer was introduced as a replacement for the two-door Bronco 2, 3, Within the current Ford SUV range in North America, the Explorer is slotted between the Ford Edge and Ford Expedition. As with the Ford Ranger, the Explorer derives its name from a trim package previously offered on the Ford F-Series pickup trucks. The Explorer has been offered in multiple chassis and powertrain layouts. The first two generations were directly derived from the Ford Ranger, switching to a model-specific chassis for the third and fourth generations. The fifth generation was repackaged as a crossover SUV, adopting a variant of the Ford Taurus chassis architecture, developed and modified for SUV use. Alongside the five-door Explorer wagon, a three-door Explorer wagon was offered from 1991 to 2003, officially referred to as the Explorer Sport after 1999, serving as the direct replacement of the Bronco 2, the 2001-2010 Ford Explorer Sport Track was a crew cab pickup derived from the model line. For police use, 
the Ford Police Interceptor utility has been derived from the fifth and sixth generation Explorer to replace Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor and the later Taurus based Police Interceptor sedan. Through rebranding, Mazda, Mercury, and Lincoln have sold versions of the Explorer. Lincoln currently markets the sixth generation model line as the Lincoln Aviator. For the North American market, the first four generations of the Explorer were produced by Ford at its Louisville Assembly Plant, Louisville, Kentucky, and at its now closed St. Louis Assembly Plant, Hazelwood, Missouri. The model line is currently produced at Chicago Assembly, Chicago, Illinois. In 2020, CNBC reported the Ford Explorer range as the best selling SUV of all time in America. 4. The first generation Ford Explorer was introduced in March 1990 as a 1991 model year vehicle. While again sharing a visual commonality with the Ford Ranger, the Explorer differed significantly from its Bronco II predecessor, becoming a family oriented vehicle with off road capability. 8. In a significant design change, a five-door body style joined the model line, competing against the Jeep Cherokee and Chevrolet S10 Blazer, the Explorer and five-door S10 Blazer were introduced within a month of each other. To further attract family buyers, Ford aerodynamically optimized the passenger compartment of the Explorer, adopting flush-mounted glass and wraparound doors, a wider body allowed for three across rear seating. To optimize cargo space, the traditional swing-away spare tire carrier was deleted in favor of an underfloor location. Similar to the Ford Taurus station wagon, the rear lift gate was fitted with a flip-up rear window. Chassis As with the Bronco II, the first-generation Explorer, design code UN46, shares its chassis underpinnings with the 1983-1992 Ford Ranger. The three-door version uses a 102.1-inch wheelbase, 8.1 inches longer than the Bronco II, the five-door uses a 111.9 wheelbase, 17.9 inches longer. Powertrain The Explorer was introduced with a 155-horsepower 4.0L Cologne V6, replacing the 2.9L V6 of the Bronco II, the engine was shared with the Ford Aerostar and the Ranger. A Mazda M5 OD5 speed manual was the standard transmission offering, with the option of the Ford 4 speed A4 LD overdrive automatic transmission. For 1993, the engine output was increased to 160 horsepower, 119 kilowatts. Along with the standard rear wheel drive powertrain, at its launch, the Explorer was also offered with various configurations of part time four wheel drive powered by a Borg Warner 13-54 transfer case. The touch-drive, electric-shift transfer case was standard, shared with the Ranger 